Hey Eagles, happy Wednesday. Hope you're having a fantastic week so far. Already to the middle of the week. And uh, wow, the weather has changed, hasn't it? It's gotten a lot colder and I walk into class and I have to grab the winter coat, the gloves, maybe even the hat. And uh, it's it's gotten a lot colder. Just It's really changed since just a couple weeks ago. So coming with the cold weather, comes the flu and the flu season is here and uh, you want to stay healthy right throughout the winter months because you don't want to miss school I know I missed about a week of school last year just kind of lay in bed because I had the flu so it's not something you want to do then you have to catch up on a lot of work and things like that so we wanted to let you know where you can get the flu shot because the flu shot might be something you want to consider so we brought in an expert uh, from the health center to talk about when and where you can get the flu shot this season Yep, so the flu shots, we had one flu event already. We'll be having another flu event over at the Union on November 6th. Um, but we're also offering right now walk-in flu shots. So any anytime during business hours, you can come on in and get those flu shots. And the flu shots are $20, and those are either cash or you could bill that to your student account. So we're just trying to, I know it's hard sometimes for students to come over to the Student Health Center. So we're trying to get, bring the flu shots to you. So we're going to be up and I'm not sure what room it'll be up in the union, but there's going to be lots of signs up and that's just a walk on in. There's a quick form to fill out. You need a photo ID um, and you can get your flu shot right then and there. And we're going to be having treats. Yeah, so I think it's really important that a lot of my students say, oh, I'm pretty healthy, I don't need the flu shot. Um, but the truth is that the best way to prevent the flu is to get the flu shot. Um, and people can be really sick with the flu, often missing class one, even two weeks. You can get bacterial complications afterward, pneumonia, sinus, like that. Um, College students live in pretty close proximity, whether it's in the dorms or you live off campus and um, you're coming to classes, so it's pretty high rates of exposure. Um, also, many of our students will work in our daycares and do student teaching in our schools, so those students are um, at risk for getting exposed, but also for passing to high risk populations, which is kids. So the flu virus actually changes year to year and even throughout the year. So the flu vaccine is gonna be a little bit different every year. So what the CDC and the scientists that work with them will try to do is match this year's flu shot to this year's flu strain. So it's really important to get it every year. Um, and your immunity from last year has probably worn off, so you need a new one. So we're trying to match our flu shots to the flu season. It's a little tricky because we don't know exactly when it is year to year. There have been cases in La Crosse already. I haven't diagnosed any students, but within City of La Crosse and County of La Crosse, there's reported cases. So that's why we're trying to push it um, now. It takes about two weeks after you get the shot to be fully protected. And then the shot lasts about six months. So we're trying to get it through the end of flu season in the spring. Thank you so much for your insight and the flu shot might just be the way you want to go because we all want to stay healthy in these winter months and you probably know what it's like to have a bad cold or even the flu as most of us have probably had the flu in the past. I know I have. So have a great rest of your week. Stay warm and uh, enjoy these last couple weeks here before Thanksgiving and we're really on the downslope of the semester now as we've hit mid-semester. Hope you're doing well in all your classes and uh, keep doing well in all your classes and uh, we'll talk to you next week. <music>